due to some popular demands on some aspect of um, IGCSE and geograph um, environmental management, um, some students have gotten a whole lot of requests to do um, to look at certain topics in, in the syllabus. So um, for this particular aspect, we'll be looking at Frankenshire, which is, um, you see it under chapter two, um, development of uh, new resources, chapter two, that's where it's found within the um, environmental um, management, environmental management syllabus. So first, what is Franken? Uh, franking is a technique uh, that is used to enable the extraction of natural gas and oil from shale. So when you extract natural gas and oil from shale uh, through a method, uh, through a process known as franking and other forms of tight rocks. In other words, uh, these rocks are impermeable rock formations and that lock, uh, you know, impermeable means um, it doesn't allow water to pass through it. So, and um, the oil and gas are in liquid form. So they are trapped within these impermeable layers. So in order for you to be able to have access to it, you need to find a way to break through these rocks. Uh, so you have contact uh, access to the minerals for you to extract them. So franking is just that process that uh, enable you to break through. Uh, these rocks now that lock in oil and gas and make fossil fuel production quite difficult because um, since it's locked within the impermeable rocks you have to find a way let's say this rocks is impermeable and um, you have these minerals lie the oil and natural gas here and it is within an impermeable rock of uh, shale so in order for you to have access to this, this impermeable rock here, this is impermeable. Impermeable has make, made it difficult for you to access this oil and gas because they are trapped there. So what Franklin does is um, to be able to break this through these rocks. So the oil and gas will now have a pathway to flow out to the surface. Uh, for processing. So you see, how is that done? That's the franking of shale. That's all. Now you see, large quantities of water, chemicals, and sand are blasted into this formation at high pressure. So you need the high pressure, which helps to provide the necessary force to break through this impermeable rock formation. At high pressure, that is high enough to crack the rock. Now, allowing one strap gas and oil to flow to the surface. Now, simple, that is the Franken method. However, for better explanation, you find out that first, this is how it's done. Uh, first, tanker will deliver water to the well site in preparation for mixing with the necessary chemicals and sand. So, you must mix it with chemicals and sand with water. Now, you now have the injector plant. Uh, what happened here is that in the injector plant, it mixes chemical sand and water, then pumps the solution at high pressure down the well to create a fracture, to fake the fracture in the shale. Now, the shale here is the impermeable rock. Uh, so once that fracture is created, what will now happen? The trapped gas, because this is the rock formation that is impermeable. Now, inside this rock formation, here you now have the oil and gas so once you were able to break through it what will now happen is that the natural gas and oil will now find a pathway through to come out to the surface through the shale to come out to the surface now the gas the shale gas collected at a wellhead pipe for processing cleaning before use in industries and uh, homes so the water content are also part of the uh, uh, product that comes out to the surface so what will happen is that the water will still be collected and move for onward recycle recycling so that's that's just it about franken now the purpose of uh, the three components which is water sand and chemical is that the water is easy to handle uh, in high pressure so you can push it down with force the chemical will stop the blockage of pipes so the pipes that help uh, that um, the gas and um, oil will pass through to the surface 
uh, will not become blocked. So that's the essence of the chemical. Then the sand, we keep the crack in the rocks open. So once you blast through, the sand will now occupy those space to keep it open. So sand particles stop the fissures uh, from closing, so allowing gas to escape out to the surface. Now, this franking has advantages and disadvantages. Now, the advantage is that uh, you'll be able to assess more oil and gas. There is less pollution than burning of coal. Uh, the need to import will reduce and um, it provides many jobs locally. You know, coal, oil and natural gas are the uh, three major um, non-renewable energy, including uh, uranium. Now, what happened? That's nuclear power. Now, what happened is coal uh, produces more. It produces more CO2, so it produces more pollutant than oil and natural gas. So, one advantage of franking is that uh, once you assess oil and natural gas and you use as alternative source to coal, there will be less pollution. Now, the need to import reduces and provide more jobs locally for the miners. However, the risk of toxic toxins entering the water table increases because of the chemical mixes with the water and you need to take it for purification. Now, the chemical are toxic and may affect local residents and use a lot of water. So a lot of water is used. So this might cause uh, water scarcity within the area. Now, the pumping at high pressure causes noise pollution. Now, uh, natural areas will become damaged because, you, remember, you need to clear the vegetation. And once you clear vegetation, the natural landscape gets damaged. Habitat is lost, um, affect the food chain, uh, loss of uh, biodiversity, and may cause additional earth tremors because of the pressure, uh, which has to do with um, the shaking uh, of the earth. Now, that's it. That's all about um, franking in you need to know in IGCSE environmental management. Thank you.